the Khwarazmian Empire, a formidable and prosperous state of the early 13th century, emerged in Central Asia and Persia, covering parts of present-day Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, and Afghanistan. The empire's strategic location along the Silk Road enabled it to become a melting pot of cultures and a significant player in the region's political, economic, and cultural spheres. Under the rule of the Anushtagin dynasty, particularly Shah Allah ad-Din Muhammad, the Khwarazmian Empire reached its zenith, boasting impressive urban centers such as Bukhara, Samarkand, and Urgench, known for their splendid architecture, bustling markets, and rich intellectual traditions. The empire's history was steeped in a blend of Persian and Turkic influences, contributing to its unique cultural and social fabric. Persian culture, art, and literature flourished, with scholars, poets, and scientists making significant contributions to various fields. The Khwarazmians were also adept at statecraft and military organization, maintaining a formidable army that safeguarded their realm against external threats. Despite its apparent strength, the Khwarazmian Empire was not immune to internal strife and political intrigues, which often weakened its stability. The seeds of conflict with the Mongol Empire were sown in 1218 when Genghis Khan, the formidable leader of the Mongols, sought to establish diplomatic and trade relations with the Khwarazmian Empire. Recognizing the potential for mutual benefit, Genghis Khan sent a trade caravan to the Khwarazmian city of Otrar. However, the governor of Otrar, suspecting the caravan of espionage, seized the goods and executed its members. This action was a grave insult to Genghis Khan, who valued trade as a means of expanding his empire's wealth and influence. In an attempt to resolve the matter peacefully, Genghis Khan dispatched three ambassadors to the court of Shah Allah ad-Din Muhammad. The Shah, however, chose to humiliate the Mongol envoys by killing one and mutilating the other two, sending them back to Genghis Khan as a message of defiance. This affront to Mongol honor left Genghis Khan with no choice but to seek retribution. In 1219, he declared war on the Khwarazmian Empire, launching one of the most devastating military campaigns in history. The Mongol invasion began with a force estimated to be around 200,000 strong, comprising highly disciplined and skilled horsemen, known for their speed, mobility, and ruthless tactics. The Mongols employed a combination of psychological warfare, superior military strategy, and sheer brutality to overpower their enemies. The initial target of the Mongol wrath was the city of Otrar, where the ill-fated trade mission had met its end. The city endured a five-month siege, during which the Mongols employed various tactics to breach its defenses. When Otrar finally fell, its governor was executed and the city was sacked setting a grim precedent for the fate of other Khwarazmian cities. The Mongols advanced swiftly, capturing Bukhara, Samarkand, and Urgench in quick succession. Each conquest was marked by extensive destruction and mass slaughter, as the Mongols sought to instill fear and ensure compliance from other cities and regions. The siege of Bukhara in 1220 is particularly notable for Genghis Khan's address to the surviving inhabitants. He entered the city's mosque and declared himself the scourge of God, sent to punish them for their sins. This psychological tactic demoralized the defenders and reinforced the Mongol reputation for invincibility. Bukhara, like many other cities, was left in ruins, its population decimated or enslaved. Samarkand, another key city, faced a similar fate. Despite putting up a strong resistance, the city's defenses were eventually breached, leading to widespread slaughter and destruction. The Mongols' relentless advance continued with the capture of Urgench, the Khwarazmian capital. The fall of Urgench was particularly brutal, with the Mongols reportedly executing hundreds of thousands of its inhabitants and destroying the city almost entirely. The Battle of Parwan in 1221 initially provided a glimmer of hope for the Khwarazmians. They managed to achieve a temporary victory against the Mongols, but this success was short-lived. 
Genghis Khan quickly regrouped his forces and launched a counteroffensive, crushing the Khwarazmian army and leaving their empire in tatters. Shah Allah ad-Din Muhammad, now a fugitive, fled westward in a desperate attempt to escape the Mongol onslaught. He sought refuge on an island in the Caspian Sea, where he eventually died in 1220, a broken ruler who had witnessed the annihilation of his empire. The aftermath of the Mongol destruction of the Khwarazmian Empire was catastrophic. The once thriving cities of Central Asia were left in ruins, their populations decimated by slaughter and enslavement. The region's cultural and intellectual centers were devastated, and the political landscape was irrevocably altered. The Mongol campaign demonstrated the devastating effectiveness of their military strategies and served as a grim warning to other states and empires of the consequences of defying the Mongol horde. Despite the destruction, the fall of the Khwarazmian Empire had profound and far-reaching implications. It opened the door for the Mongol Empire to expand further into the Middle East and Europe, reshaping the course of history in these regions. The Mongols' reputation as fierce and unstoppable conquerors was solidified, and their influence would continue to grow, leaving an indelible mark on the world. The story of the Khwarazmian Empire's rise and fall is a testament to the transient nature of power and the fragility of even the mightiest of empires. It serves as a reminder of the importance of diplomacy, the consequences of hubris, and the relentless march of history. The legacy of the Khwarazmian Empire, despite its tragic end, lives on in the cultural and historical memory of the region. It is a powerful narrative of resilience, the ebb and flow of human fortunes, and the enduring spirit of those who strive to rebuild and reclaim their heritage in the face of overwhelming odds. In the face of such devastation, it is inspiring to remember that human history is also marked by resilience and renewal. The ashes of fallen empires often give rise to new civilizations, enriched by the lessons of the past. The Khwarazmian Empire's cultural contributions, though overshadowed by its dramatic end, continue to influence the region's art, literature, and scholarship. This enduring legacy reminds us that while empires may fall, the human spirit endures, constantly striving to create, innovate, and build anew. Let the story of the Khwarazmian Empire be a testament to the indomitable will of humanity to rise from the ashes and forge a brighter future.